It's nice to see the uh, the banter going on between the panelists, <laughs> and it's uh, it's really hard to choose uh, who would be on the panel. And the question came in uh, to all the panelists: right? Who would the panelists like on the panel if they could choose? Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be looking for a job. Um, I don't know who his agent is, but... Do they have to be dead or alive? They can be dead or alive? Either. Oh, dead Boris Johnson. Even doesn't better. matter. Who would you like on the panel? I, I, if it was your choice. I think I would like Elon Musk, and I think I would like to ask him lots of questions like, what's your PIN number? Things like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interested in his views, but, you know, mm. I just try and tap him up for a bit of cash while he was here. That's very David nice. Attenborough. I'd love to meet oh, David yeah. Attenborough. I think he's one of the most influential... The only thing I tend to watch on TV now is, is, is the things about nature and the things about um, you know, the world and see if, if he believes in, in the, uh, the climate change or whether it's, it's mankind or I think there's been climate change throughout the uh, eons, you know. I'd love to meet him. I think he's a, a, a brilliant man. Him or Stephen Hawking, loved him. Or George of, uh, of, of Rainbow. I'll do, it. I'll do it for you. Go on, you're Stephen. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's so good to be on the panel. <laughs> oh, no, I have to do that. Um, it's the only one you don't. It's the only one you don't do. So <laughs> For a very good reason, to be honest. With you. <laughs> but do you know what I'd love to see on on this? Nish Kumar and Stuart Lee, just to see if they'd still take the fucking money for the gig. If I'm honest for you. But it's it's like you know. It's uh, I think the set. I'll tell you what I'd love to see actually on this. It's Tyson Fury, right? I'll tell you what I'd also love to see. Tyson Fury hosting the awards. Just to see if Will Smith would have fucking slapped him if he was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> she controlled him. Did you see that? He laughed at the joke, and then she used the mind control it's to like we, make him do, do it. It's what we do, mate. It's what we do. That's the power, <laughs> the power of the vagina oh. can see, make I, men I, do everything. I thought when I first saw it, I thought it was fake. It. I really did think it was fake. I was loving well. it. He was going like that, laugh, 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 and then she went, wow, wow, wow. And he's like, okay, must punch comedian. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's be honest. It's not going to do any of them any harm because Chris Rock's uh, show all show, sold out. Sold out. Absolutely. Uh, Anthem, yeah. Do you Will reckon Smith's there film? could be any connection between the two of them? Say, like, I'll do this to you, and we'll make this big hoo ha. And, yeah, uh, absolutely. Well, they're probably doing it backstage. I mean, that might have been no, sexual favours with each other. That's right. your business, isn't it? Um, my panel, my panel guest. I'd like to have somebody on the panel that I haven't fucked. <laughs> <laughs> what about? What Just about, get it. I get it. What do you mean? No women do fuck Bobby. Well, well not the ones mates. I seem to go out with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. well, having a terrible time. Mates. He has to hunt to gather them first. I'm hunting to gather him. <laughs> I'm hunting a now. His spear ready, you know what I, mean? I lost my virginity at 15, and when I got married, I fucking found it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's dreadful situation. 64. <laughs> All comes out at the end of it is dust. <laughs> <laughs> if you get the back out. That's it, the back. Shake back. The bull type, of course. <laughs>